Welcome to the Main Pops 2020 Holiday Concert. My name is Bob Swerdle and I'm president of the band. It is a real pleasure to present to you this virtual concert. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to cancel our live performances this year, including a special celebration of Maine's 200th birthday in Merrill Auditorium last month. However, it remains our mission to bring the joy of concert band music to the community, to our audiences, and to our members, so we decided we needed to learn how to make music together apart. The result is this virtual band performance, which keeps our members and audiences safe while keeping the music playing. With the support of some very dedicated volunteers and dozens of committed musicians, we've created this program for you. And as in years past, we are delighted to partner with the West Falmouth Baptist Church and St. Luke's Cathedral of Portland to celebrate the season and to help our neighbors in need in these troubling times. Please look in the description below this video for links where you can donate. We wish you all a very happy holiday, a safe and prosperous new year, and all the joys of music. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are. I'm David Watts and I'm the director of the Maine Pops Concert Band. I've spent the last several hours writing a script um, to introduce these pieces to you and talk to you, but you know what? That's <laughs> So here we go. This is David Watts unscripted. Everybody in the band is probably cringing right now because they know if you give me a mic, we have never ha know how long this concert is going to last. But anyway, I'm really happy that you're with us today. In addition to this time of year being a time for family, celebration, a lot of great food, 
a time for reflection. This is also a time that we expect music and musicians live to create this time. We, we live in a community uh, that spans the globe and we enjoy rehearsing. We enjoy getting together and laughing at ourselves, with ourselves. And the end result is a performance where we get in front of all of you and we just play everything that we've been working so hard on. But things are a little bit different this year. And so we needed to find a way to do this. This is our gift to you. I'm, I'm going to be off the cuff here today, so forgive me. Nothing is perfect. This is 2020 and this is what we expect. Um, you know, I'm sitting here in my tux and I don't even have shoes on. It's one of the joys of 2020. Of course, I'm wearing L.L. Bean slippers, so they're expensive. And I guess that means something. I don't know. Um, I'm sitting here in a rocking chair that I used to be rocked in by my grandmother and my mom when I was an infant. That rocking chair is now covered in cat hair. Because why? Because the cats, this is their seat and that's just the way it is. We're not perfect. Um, but again, I am thankful that you're joining us. That first piece that you heard, On This Day Earth Shall Ring, is, uh, uses a melody, Persona and Hodier, that was um, originally dated back in the uh, 1300s uh, from Germany. And the lyrics, written by a woman composer, in the early 20th century. That's the English translation of them. Um, but her name was Jane Joseph. And it's one of my favorite pieces celebrating the beginning of Advent. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a magnificent setting that we have always enjoyed playing and we typically start off our holiday concert with it. We're going to move now into um, I, we're going to go about uh, six or seven hundred years later, and um, we're going to be doing the, a band setting of a choral piece by John Rutter, the English composer John Rutter, called Candlelight Carol. Please enjoy.
Well, we've decided to expand our format a little bit this year and maybe start some new traditions of our own. Not everything has been bad with this pandemic. One of the, the end results of being shut down and forced inside is that it's enabled us to spend more time learning about each other. As a band, we get together every Wednesday and we either talk about music or we learn new music. We work on these recordings like we're doing um, for today's performance. Um, but we've also just met in community and have learned more about each other. And so we've decided to um, delve into some family traditions. This next th bit that we have here is a tradition from the family of our ever popular timpanist, Leslie Ouellette. I really hope sometime you get to come and see us in person. You will love the infectious joy that she brings to the stage. She's just wonderful to watch. And I have never um, ended a concert where someone didn't come up to me and comment on how wonderful it is to sit and watch her play. But this is a family tradition for her, and we hope you enjoy this. The Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on, Comet, on, Cupid, on, Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash 
away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. The Main Pops Concert Band is an organization of about 90 plus volunteer musicians ranging in age from 17 to 90. They come from all walks of life. Um, we have many current and former music educators. We have people who have been professional musicians, uh, but we have mostly people who have just been players at some point uh, throughout their lives. Maybe they uh, played in their high school band and had such a great time and, and just decided later in life to pick the instrument back up again. Um, you know, it's, it's a wonderful organization. We're always looking for more people uh, to join us. And this uh, shutdown has enabled us to stay in touch with people. We have seasonal musicians who join us. Um, you know, we call them our snowbirds. They, um, they head south uh, in the winter and come back and play with us for about six months. And, um, but right now they're able to join us from Florida and South Carolina and um, some of the other sunshine states. Um, there have been a lot of positives in this, um, not the least of which Okay, how many of you have ever um, attended at least one church service in your pajamas with a cup of coffee in hand? Come on, raise your hand. All right, hopefully some of these things will stay with us perhaps after this is over. Um, uh, but, you know, people don't just play with the Main Pops concert band. Many of our musicians go out and they perform because they just love it and they do so in small groups with other friends. And one of those small groups is the Foreside Clarinet Quartet. And they're up next and they're going to play a nice twist arrangement they did uh, on Rudolph. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. 
One of my favorite sounds of the Christmas season is the sound of a small group of brass players standing on a street corner. You know, it's been romanticized numerous times in uh, Christmas movies, and uh, there's just something about it that very, feels very nostalgic. Um, we have our a few members of our low brass section that are going to play a couple traditional carols for you next. from instrumental music right now and do some singing. My good friend Dennis Drabinsky, who is the choir director at the South Freeport Congregational Church, he and I will take every chance that we can to uh, belt it out and sing some spirituals. And so um, this is our rendition of Jesus, Oh, What a Wonderful Child. And Although it may look a little strange, I guarantee to you that no animals were harmed and no social distancing protocols were broken in the filming of this video. Jesus, Jesus,
everyone. I'm Pastor Mac Ray here at the West Falmouth Baptist Church. We are honored every year here to host the Maine Pops Concert Band for their annual Christmas concert. And we do it for two reasons. One is to bring joy to the community because uh, music is a joy at any time of the year, especially at Christmas time, and especially performed as well as this band performs music. But the second reason is to raise money for a local charity. And normally we, we pass the plate around, uh, around the sanctuary and everybody throws in a few dollars and that money goes to 100% of that goes to a local charity. This year we're doing it, we're giving all that money to the uh, uh, food pantry program, the school pantry program. It used to be known as the school backpack program here in Maine. Now they've called it the School Pantry Program. And, and for every dollar you give, three meals are purchased for hungry school kids across Maine this winter. Uh, that is an awesome thing. And we're going to up the ante a little bit. For every dollar you give, there's a link below the video. You can click on that and give through our church. For every dollar that you send to us, not only will we send 100% of that money to the to the food pantry program, but we will also match it up to $1,000 in total. We're going to match the, the monies you give and send that to the food pantry program. So every dollar you give, buy six meals uh, for school children across Maine. That's a pretty good thing. So I hope you'll uh, open up your hearts and open up your wallets and, and click on that link and, and give. Uh, I hope you'll join us for Advent and Christmas services, 10 o'clock Sunday morning here at, on our website, www.falmouthbaptist.church. Most of all, I hope you have a joyous and blessed Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's hear some more music. My name is Ben Shambaugh. I'm Dean of St. Luke's Cathedral and a tuba player in the Maine Pops Community Band. For many years, St. Luke's has been honored to host the Christmas concert of the Maine Pops, and we are delighted that the band has offered to give this concert tonight as a fundraiser for St. Luke's Ministries. Your help this evening will go to St. Luke's Food Pantry. Many people are hungry in Portland, and in this time of COVID, the number of people coming to our doors has more than doubled. I thank you for your help tonight in providing food and support for those in need in this time of Christmas and all year long. Enjoy the rest of this concert. Everybody has their favorites when it comes to Christmas arrangements. Andy Williams, um, Perry Como, The Carpenters, Amy Grant, uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, uh, the pentatonics, you know, they're, they're just, they, they just do something. They switch something on and you can't help but sing along when you're in the car because nobody else can hear you. Um, but, um, well, I hope you love them, but we're not going to play any of them. Our, um, but if you take a Christmas carol, a traditional Christmas carol, and you put it in the hands of of the arranger Chip Davis and Mannheim Steamroller. Uh, it's just something that becomes magical about it. This next piece, Patapan, the traditional carol, gets a makeover. And it features our fabulous percussion section and Diane Ray as the flute soloist. Thank you. 
Siogan is up next. It is a traditional Welsh lullaby. And although I don't have time to read the entire poem to you, it is beautiful. And um, although it's in my heritage, I, there's no way I'm going to even attempt to say any of it in Welsh. Um, but the last few lines are, Do not dread the murmuring seas, lonely waves washing the shore. Sleep, child mine, there's nothing here. While in slumber at my breast, angels smiling have no fear. Holy angels, guard your rest. And now again, the four-side clarinet quartet.
Well, this is live. So, hey, this is Coda. She decided, uh, yes, of course I have a cat named Coda. We also have a dog named Opus, but go that figures, I guess, doesn't it? Anyway, the first time I uh, directed the band in this next piece, I did my usual. I stepped down after the previous piece and turned to face the audience and introduce. And um, we were getting towards the end, so I was beginning to thank people for coming and doing the usual thing. Well, as soon as I was done, I turned around and jumped up on the podium. Well, rule number one, never turn your back on a large group of musicians. I turned around and counted off this piece and started laughing and couldn't help but laugh through the entire piece. There were these crazies with all sorts of things all over their heads, animal heads, um, things with flashing lights, things making unwanted noises. Of course, there were the traditional Santa hats, but some of these other things, honestly, uh, it's, it's a tr tradition of this group. So nothing, no concert, no holiday concert would be complete without the playing of Leroy Anderson's Sleigh Ride. together has come to an end. I hope we've been able to bring a little sense of normalcy and some joy to your day or evening whenever you happen to be listening to this. Um, this has been an abnormal time. We are typically doing these uh, multiple performances to raise money and help 
um, various organizations raise money. I hope you'll take the time and consider making a donation to uh, St. Luke's Mission and the West, West Falmouth Baptist Church Mission. Uh, they are wonderful groups of people who really are out in the community um, taking care of those who are less fortunate. The next time you get a chance, please thank a musician. Uh, more than any other industry, music has been really hit hard by this pandemic. I'm not talking about the YouTubers or the millionaires. I'm talking about the people who um, live and you know make a living um, with live performance. And it's not just the performers either. It's um, it's the people who are in the industry and the industries that are affected by live performances. Uh, they're really hurting. So um, we would be nowhere in this world without music, the oldest form of communication. So remember, reach out, help us, be with us, stay in community. We'd love to see you again when we're able to meet in person, hopefully very soon. Um, look for more performances from the Maine Pops Concert Band as we move forward. Again, I'm David Watts, the very proud director of this wonderful organization. No matter what you celebrate or how you celebrate it, or wherever you are, from my home here in Freeport, Maine, I wish you a very happy Christmas. Goodbye.